Hey, it's the footy coach here. Let's talk about Alexis McAllister, the Argentine World Cup winner who is lighting up the Premier League for the league leaders Liverpool. Is he the best midfielder in the league at this moment in time? And has he actually been all season? There's a little bit to unpack on that firstly. Of course, Rodri and Rice have a good claim for that particular title, let's say. And the other is the misconception about McAllister's performances throughout the season and in the number six role when he's performed there. I made a video earlier in the season saying Liverpool don't need a six because McAllister is a top six. Last night, again, he proved that playing as a six and scoring a cracking goal, although Klopp himself was a bit confused whether it was a dual six or not, which again shows the quality of the player. A lot of pundits, YouTubers such as 442, TNT, Sky, Robbie from AFTV are all trying to make out as though McAllister was struggling in the number six role earlier in the season. Here's his stats against the other elite sixes in the league when playing in that position. During this time period, Liverpool were fielding an ever-changing and brand new midfield and with McAllister as a six, they have only lost one game against Spurs and we all know what happened there. Endo has come in and taken that six role and allowed McAllister to operate further forward where he is even better. Jurgen Klopp said it himself last night, he prefers him further forward. I think everyone does. However, that does not mean he's not an elite six. Let's get that out of your systems. Just because he is a world class eight, it does not mean he cannot be an elite six too. In fact, he's much better than Endo there, as great as Endo is. And that's been proven by the results against Arsenal in the cup, City away in the league, Arsenal at home in the league, amongst other games. We've all seen his quality on the ball, but his off the ball work is so underrated. He's amongst the top players in the league for competing for the ball and winning it back. He's involved in the ridiculous amount of jewels per game. Last night on TNT, the female commentator mentioned he's not that good off the ball. As she was saying this, Brereton Diaz was chasing a ball through on goal. McAllister challenged him and Kelleher picked up the ball. If that's not great defensive for work, then what the hell is? One of the great things about McAllister is his ability to transition between the 6 and the 8 in game. He notices when the centre backs and Endo have difficulty playing the ball out and drops himself in to make it a dual 6 so that he can be the conductor, draw the opposition midfield in and create space in the gaps they leave for the other 8 and the attack. It's the flexibility and understanding that is making him the best player at Liverpool at the moment. Rice and Rodri are magnificent players and have been throughout this season but they are world class 6s. And I think they would both be very good at the number eight position too. But McAllister is elite at the six position, world class at eight and elite at the number 10 role. I've seen someone say Foden is the best midfielder. I think that's just stupid as he's not a midfielder. And McAllister's done all of these roles for Argentina and Brighton. Play reminds me of his Luka Modric. Although Modric is one of the quickest players I've ever seen over the first five meters, which McAllister doesn't have. But just like Modric, McAllister plays a six, eight and 10 to an elite level. So for, in my opinion, at the moment, he is the best midfielder in the league and Liverpool's performances this season have shown why he is. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on McAllister's season so far and if you agree he's the best midfielder in the league. I hope you've enjoyed this video and as always, thank you for watching.